So I got some messages from people that watched the video on the number two, and uh, their main problem with the video was this number right here, zero. When we do this circle plus addition, this kind of addition right here, and we say one circle plus one is equal to zero, they would rather this was two. Now let me just tell you the basic reason why it's not two in the first place is this. If we're going to have a mathematical structure, an algebraic structure that is, with this set, which just has the numbers 0 and 1, and these two operations right here, the very first thing that has to happen is this. The set has to be what we call closed under those two operations. That is, if you combine any two numbers in this set with these operations right here, you have to end up back in the set. So if I was to put the number 2 right here, I would be outside this set. And so that set wouldn't be closed under those operations. That's just the first of a list of things that have to happen to make this an algebraic structure. But I want to tell you, you've probably already done this kind of addition before. You just don't realize it. So what I want to do is go erase this board right here, put up a couple of more things, come back and take a look, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me show you what I've done here. Here's just a regular clock, a 12-hour clock like we're used to seeing. And here's the question. If it's 3 o'clock and uh, you add 11 hours to that, what time is it then? Well, here's 3 o'clock. If I add 11 hours, I end up back at 2 o'clock. So that's clock arithmetic. And what happens is you go to the number 12 and then you start over again. So to get a little better idea of what this is like, let's go to a little simpler clock here that just has the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3 on it. So I want to do clock arithmetic with this clock right here. And so here's my little circle plus addition table that I'm going to use. And I'm going to ask myself, 0 plus 0 is what? Well, it'll be 0. Um, 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 3, 3. So zero works the same way with clock arithmetic that it does with regular arithmetic, too. Okay, so let's go. One plus zero is going to be one. Two plus zero, two. Three plus zero, three. Now, one plus one, that's two. That would be if I went to one and then I added another hour, I would end up at two. And let's see, two plus one. Okay, so if I start here at two and I add one, I'm going to end up at three. And then three plus one. It's not going to be 4, it's going to be 3, so I move over to 3, and then I add 1, what do I end up with? 0. Okay, let's go over here, 0, um, let's go 1 plus 2, that will be 3, 2 plus 2, okay, here I am at 2, so I move to 2, and then I add 2 more hours, where do I end up? Back at 0. And then 3 plus 2, okay, so I'm over here at 3, and then I add 2, 1, 2, where do I end up? At 1. And then 1 plus 3, okay, that's going to be 1 plus 1, 2, 3. I'll be back at 0. 2 plus 3, so I'm at 2, and I'll add 1, 2, 3. I'll end up back at 1. And then 3 plus 3, so I'm over here at 3, and I add another 1, 2, 3. I end up at 2. So that's my circle plus addition table right here for this clock arithmetic that just has the four numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. Now what happens when I define addition this way with clock arithmetic, I end up with a nice closed set under this operation right here, and I can do all the things with this that I can do with my big algebraic structure with all the real numbers in regular addition and multiplication. I could do a multiplication table like this too, where I just wind around this clock. But I think you can see that you have done this uh, kind of arithmetic like this before, when you just say, well, it's 3 o'clock, 11 hours later, what time will it be? 2 o'clock. Because here you're at 3 o'clock, you add 11 hours, you end up back at 2 o'clock like this. So just generalizing that a little bit to a simpler clock, we have this kind of arithmetic. So it turns out, pretty important topic in mathematics, this kind of clock arithmetic right here. And it, I hope, helps answer the question, why is this 0 instead of 2 in our binary arithmetic? This is the simplest clock we can get, two numbers with these two operations.